Hello guys, so welcome back to a brand new video here today upon my channel guys. Today my friends, welcome back to Call of Duty 2003, the original first Call of Duty game. I, re I did realise that I was making a slight little error in part one, part two. For some reason, I was calling it the finest hour and I don't know why I was doing that. It's probably because All when right, I was a kid, I mainly associated Call of Duty the finest hour as the f Call of Duty 1, but obviously... You know, the two separate games, even though they're kind of the same thing. So, that's probably why I was doing that. But, nevertheless, we're jumping back into Call of Duty 2003. And this is part three to my playthrough. If you enjoyed the pre previous two parts, I want to see even more on this game. Let me know down below in the comment section. And with that being said, let's crack on with it, boys. Let's crack on with it. Him. Nice. I'm trying to hide behind the pillar there. It's just like, no, I'm going to see you, boys. Alright. Take this. Oh, we're an enemy back here. Hang on. My uh, sniper dropped him. Okay, we can't go for that doorway. Activate this. So basically along the way, we've got to basically plant these like explosives on these guns. Just so we can destroy them. And I think if I remember correctly with this particular mission, I feel like we have to go like underneath the dam, like below, uh, like the below levels of the dam to uh, destroy, like destroy some stuff, if I remember correctly. Like some com like comms and stuff and, and machinery and stuff, if I remember correctly. Oh my, it's been a while, guys. It's been a while. Jesus Christ, I'm not gonna get a dying man. A cheeky grenade over there. I'm about to spat a couple of them. Just to be on the safe side. Second one hitting. Big mistake there, trying to go pro. Dropped him, right. Got the explosive. Let's keep going. Got literally the cat behind my monitor, so it's like, I do apologize to see the camera light move slightly. It's just because Luna keeps like trying to space out in the window, because I've got like a window behind my monitor. And when it's the weather's nice and you day like it is now, she likes to like proper like sunbathe, but when she sunbathes, she likes to just spread the legs out and she ends up like hitting the monitor so it's just like uh, I should really like move my desk a little bit to be honest but you know it is what it is alright let's take this lift down let's keep going boys I'm going to try and do as well per part I'm gonna try to get a lot done per part so then I'm not like dragging this play throughout for many, many, many play like parts. So I feel like I'm gonna be doing that sort of thing with um, Skull and Bones. Nicely done. Let's go this way. See where this pathway leads us to. This place is like a maze. If I remember correctly, there should be like a lift somewhere we can take down, but I can't remember off the top of my head where that is. 
bits of it is coming back to me, you know what I mean? Just bear in mind, it's been a while since I last played this game, a long time ago. It's crazy to think as well, with Call of Duty 2003, the first Call of Duty game that was ever released, it came out when I was seven years old. No, sorry, not when I was seven. I was nine, sorry. I was born in 94, but yeah, so I was nine years old when this game came out. Which is just crazy. No, it's crazy to think. Believe it or not, even though I'm playing this on PC, it's like, it still stands strong today, like, it's still a good card. Bear in mind, back then, we didn't have, like, online multiplayer or anything like that, it was just, like, it was just stories, like, we mainly just focus on the story mode, you know what I mean? I feel like online gaming really became more popular from, like, the Xbox 360 era onwards. Like, it just became a thing which everyone wanted to do, but... Before that, like the PS2 and everything, and the original Xbox, everyone just wanted to play games and just save their progress and then come off, you know what I mean? We just played, saved, and came off. Or we played LAN parties, you know what I mean? Or couch co-op, you know what I mean? That was the... That's how it was back then. Like split screen on like GoldenEye 64 and stuff. So we've been this way, so we've gone all the way around already. So I must have missed something. Damn it, I got killed. <laughs> Easy thing to happen. Alright, come on, we got this. And obviously, well, like I mentioned in the previous videos, I've got the uh, expansions on PC as well for Call of Duty 2003, or shall I say COD 1, basically. So it's like, if you want me to play them after this, then by all means, I can do that if you like. I should really try, like, aim to be more precise on my shots, but to be honest, I feel like the hit fire for this particular weapon is just pretty much on point. I don't feel like I need to aim. Not as much anyway. Just walk around and hit fire. <laughs> I feel like I'm going the right way now. If I remember correctly, I swear there's some more things down here that I need to blow up. Would be like some generators or something, or guns or something, or something along the lines of that. Any more enemies? Yeah, there is. Dropped him. Could do with a better weapon, to be honest. I'm running really low on ammo. Dropped him. Oh, weapon again. What weapon have you got, my friend? Okay, MP40. I'll take that. God come from Call of Duty World at War. Good old, that's good old MP40. Yeah, 
now, so we need to put explosives on these. Oh, drop, drop. Alright, move, 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 move. Alright, got the gun as well. Let's get out of the way. We've probably got blown to smithereens. around here. Let's just check this area. Dropped him. Ooh, got another gun. Let's keep moving, keep moving. Fun fact though, this is one thing I'm a bit curious of. I don't like a lot of developers and stuff, especially like obviously smaller develop developers and stuff. They tend to like reuse assets and stuff, whether it's for different sorts of things in other levels or in different sorts of contents, or if it's just reusing it for the same sort of thing. It's like I'm just curious, this dam that we can see in front of us, do you reckon this dam was used in MW3? And maybe for Vadas at a later point, do you reckon it was just like used as like as a template and then they rebuilt off it just to make it look more obviously appealing and better? I'm just curious. I just had a good look at it. I was thinking, it just kind of remind me the um, the dam from the campaign from Modern Warfare Roman numeral three. Like when you have to drop him, I think you play as Ghost. Correctly. You drop in with ghosts. Kind of reminds me of that dam. A little bit. So what if it was like reused? Let me know your thoughts. And also as well, let me know your thoughts on the beans down in the comment section. What do you think of Call of Duty 1? Or Call of Duty 2003? To me, this and the finest are Arcod 1. That's how I've always seen them. Even though they're two separate games and the finest hour is more of a spin-off of, like, Call of Duty 2003. It's like, I still class them both as cod -Mod. Like, they are, in my eyes, they were the, the original. Oh, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. No, I'm not. I'm still alive. Alright, good boys. British commander, we have captured your commanding officer and secured the exit. You have no hope. Captured our commanding officer. I don't think you. I don't think you captured Captain Bryce or anything because I feel like he would just obliterate you. The best thing is as well, with Captain Bryce in this game, he wasn't like as known for like how he is nowadays. Like, obviously, if you think of like Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Bryce is like an iconic main character. But back in this game, he was just a character. Like, we didn't think anything more from it when we played these old games because. Modern Warfare wasn't a thing then, like Call of Duty wasn't, like, it was, it was just, when, it only became a big thing when COD 4 came out, COD 4 Modern Warfare onwards, that's when these particular sorts of characters like Gaz, and obviously Ghost, and stuff like that, all started becoming, like, key characters, you know what I mean, but Captain Price was, like, one of the main original key characters, but, then we realised years later that in the men was this the same Captain Price that was in Card 2003? Good man. You know what I mean? You could tell the voice actor's difference as well. Nice. Gonna provide some uh, cover support. Go, go, 
go, go, go. I think as now as my MP40's got like unlimited ammo. Take this Panzer fast! Like, but you know, you'll let me be in. It's like, it feels nice, but I'm trying to, like, scratch it because I don't really want to play with that. This was sitting dark, you know what I mean? They aren't going to be following us over now unless they've got a boat. <laughs> unless they put like a little ramp up and just try and drive over it, but I highly doubt they're going to do that. Kill then, though. To be honest, I thought I, was, I thought I was doing all right then. I feel like I need to be a little bit more precise when it comes to my uh, shots, especially with the uh, missiles or the explosives, I should say. That was terrible. I thought I could have tried and like, flipping them, but it didn't work. Come on. That was terrible. Was absolutely horrendous. Ugh. I thought I'm dying at these sorts of spots, you know what I mean? Nice. Got it. What I'm going to do is going to try and light. Like, Make sure the enemies are more closer to me before I start firing like projectile shots at them. Mm -hmm. 
Nice. Fancy flying then. Drops him. Any more? <laughs> what? What happened then? I don't. I don't get it. Like what? What happened? Here you go. We got this. Like, do I did, did I destroy the car too closer to like my car or something? Here I don't get it, don't I? First, it was gonna blow up my vehicle, though. like he did last time. It might have just been like I destroyed it too closely to my vehicle, so that's probably why my vehicle blew up. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, that was terrible. Plenty of health as well, just in case I need it. So warm in the UK today, guys. Like the weather is beautiful well, outside. It's dead warm. I'll be honest, but I feel really tired. It's just because really it's dead warm. It's like the sleep is just really broken. Clear the area. 
Got the gun. Oh, look at that. That's the beauty. I've got planes there. It's got enemy fire. I've got to kind of destroy the planes. Okay. Down by the comment section, guys, what you've all been up to lately. If you're having a fantastic day, let me know what you've been doing. Also, if you've been playing games today, let me know what games you've been playing. This mission I don't remember. I don't remember this one at all. This is a very good <laughs> Or the German battleship. See the size of that thing? That's massive. Oh, right here. Crazy. Bitte um Erlaubnis, um an Bord kommen zu dürfen. Erlaubnis erteilt. All right, Captain, you do the talking, okay? Because I can't speak German. Dürfte ich wohl Ihre Papiere sehen? Wo ist Fregattenkapitän Schmidt? Er musste zu einem dringenden Treffen mit Admiral Dörnitz. Alles in Ordnung. Willkommen an Bord.
So we've come onto the boat unarmed. Apologise if you can hear any of rustling noise in the background. The cats are playing with the toys, and it's like we've got like a little box where, well, a little bag with all the bo like toys and stuff in. So I can hear them behind me under the desk playing with the toys. So we should be able to get can below hear. through that hangar. Right. Well, behind you, Price. Lead the way. Really slowly. Come on. I need to go for the doorway. Never mind. I'll go through the doorway then. Doesn't help when he stands in the way and everything. It's just really annoying. Come on, bro. This way. Lead the way, okay? Papiere mal sehen. Ich muss das überprüfen. Ein Moment bitte. Ich habe einen Offizier hier. Er sagt, er habe Papiere. Hallo? Hallo? Grab a weapon and explosives quick. The ship's boilers lie in these passageways. They shall charge us as we go. The place will be crawling with crafts. Alright. Now we're talking. Now it's just a matter of fighting his way off the thing and planting some explosives along the way. coming out of anywhere right now. Just need to find where you can get some explosives. That's one there. There's three more remaining. See where this leads. We can keep going up as well. Nice. And oh, I don't know. There we go. We can destroy him. on me.
You turn to Sergeant Walters. Okay. I think I go this way. I think I do. Could be wrong. do not have that all the like little corridors look the same. Killing me. Right. I'll make it back to the boat. So, if you enjoyed the video so far, guys, make sure you give this video a big fat thumbs up and subscribe if you would really, really appreciate it. I'll probably have a couple more parts on this game, so make sure you do look out for them again. Okay? If you miss any of the previous parts, there's a playlist on the channel where you can go ahead and check it out, okay? We lost there the captain. Damn, he's a very fine man. Let's get the hell out of here. We lost the captain. Comrades of the Soviet Union. Was I supposed to leave the captain behind, or, or what? Comrades, this day. Will be the proudest day you have ever lived. You will fight the fascist Nazi invaders with all your strength. For each and every fallen Soviet soldier, you will make them pay with ten of them. There will be no mercy for defeatists, cowards, or traitors. Anyone caught deserting his post will. Be shot! Remember great comrade Stalin's order! Not one step backwards! You will be well equipped for the battles that lie ahead. You will have food, water, weapons, and plenty of ammunition! What do you suppose the Germans have? Give everyone else a weapon, but they don't give me one. Okay, I see how it is. Favor says them all. I know, you know what I mean? It's like, don't you bro get a like a gun? Nah, to be fair, I'll probably just find one along the way or something if I don't get blown up in the process. But for the story though, for this game though, it is, it is incredible. Like, it's one thing I've always like enjoyed since I'm engaged is playing like a little more like. 
games and stuff, and it's just interesting to see from a gameplay perspective events and stuff from like real times and stuff like that, and how it could have been if you were actually close there to experience it. Obviously, your grandparents and stuff and a lot of were probably there to experience it in real life, but from a gameplay perspective, it's always an interesting thing to see, you know what I mean? Go, 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 go. Run! Oh, he's running, boys. He's running. Okay, comrade. Same thing. You go there. Let's head for that red car over there. Wait for them to change up their wheel. Ready? Okay, go, go. Go, 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 go! Well, my friend, you are either very lucky or you have a small head. We'll be safer in that building down there. Don't worry about that, Commissar. I'll take care of it. Ready? Okay, go, go! <laughs> Die, you coward. We get used to say that flies blown up. Get on some artillery to move, sir. I'm almost not blown up. We're going to lose the dogs. What the hell is this? They're trying to go, Calvin. What? These people have been. I can barely hear you, Major. Speak up! I need a weapon or something. Well, we can retake the red square, but I could do with a weapon to assist you with this, because, you know, you probably can't do this barehanded. Even if it's a pistol, I'll take it. Red Square, Stalingrad. All right. These guys just got no chill on them. No hesitation, comrade. Do not take one step backwards. For Mother Russia, comrade. Do not turn your back on her. Victory or death! Let's go, man. Let's go. Move, 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 move. Give me a gun. That'll do. Just got some bitches to defend myself, bro. Oh, I've got people on my gun turrets and stuff. We need to take them down. Okay, I 
got it, I got it, I got it. What was that? Sergeant Makarov? Yo! Makarov's in this? I didn't know that. Interesting. I wonder if that is actually about the Vladimir Makarov. I, d I doubt it, but that, to be honest, if he's got Captain Bryce in there, I would not be surprised. This is what I mean, though, like, these little things you don't notice until, like, later games come out and then you go back and revisit them and you think, ah, oh, okay. You piece these little things together. So Makarov became, like, a leader. Captain Bryce became, you know, one of the Modern Warfare's most iconic gaming characters ever made. And formed his own team, the 141. Which is just insane. <laughs> Fighting alongside with Macro. Just for the sake of the purpose of this video, I'm crashing this. The original Macaron. Whether it's him or not, I don't care. Macaroff. 
So I can assess you with this. Iconic weapon. I can't think of one card game that the PPSH was bad in. Like, it was good in World of War. It was good in World War Two, like COD World War Two. There's, there's so many games that have had weapons like this, and it's always been solid. Like, they've always been really good. that we've retaken Red Square. You'll report to him from here on out. Right, let's keep pushing up then. See where this leads to. Some health.
best ways to get rid of a gunner. You know what I mean? Rendezvous with uh, with the major with the uh, train station. Suppose they were Chef Jenka. See him then, he must have been pro he, he looked like a proper blender under the wall. There we go, my friends. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to bring this video to an end. If you have enjoyed part three, make sure you smash the thumbs up button and subscribe if you're new. I do apologize for being tired and everything, guys. I'm just, yeah, I'm just knackered. I'm going to have a little sleep shortly to see if it will help me feel a bit more refreshed. But nevertheless, there'll be more parts in this game real soon to look out for, well, to look forward to. Anyways, have a great day. Thank you for all the continued support across this channel and my main channel. And that being said, I'll catch you all again next time. Take care.